artists and supporters, as I mentioned earlier, for uh, contributing your art to this program to exhibit your art for sale. And we thank you for your compassion and understanding helping us in our mission. And I'd like to thank, make a special thank you to Helen Schulman and Kathy O'Flynn. I don't know where Kathy is. I can't see her. Oh, <laughs> to thank them for organizing this for the past two years, for being the ladies in charge, and for being artists and longtime supporters of the Literacy Council. So we're very pleased and thrilled to know them and to have them as part of our team. And thanks to all the other volunteers here today, artists who are volunteering, uh, tutors who are volunteering and other volunteers and supporters of the Literacy Council. Thank you. They've been helping serve you wine and hors d'oeuvres and, and, and helping to take you to the cashier's desk in the library when you make a purchase. I would like to mention really quickly we have a raffle, um, raffle items going on. We will have our raffle drawing on Sunday evening. We have two beautiful pieces from Renata Vigoda, a local artist who has donated a bracelet, a ring, and a pendant. And we also have an illustrator, Colette Nicoletti, who illustrated a children's book, and she's graciously donated the, the original drawings from the book. They're beautiful for a child or a baby's bedroom. They're very cute, and they are being displayed in the library, so please take a look at them. And raffle tickets, the raffle table is right here as well. On Saturday, tomorrow, the show continues from 2 to 7. And at 3 o'clock, there will be a demonstration by Angela Brown, our artist who is displayed in that back corner, on the lost art of wood burning. So if you're around, please come back and see Angela show us how that is done. And on Sunday, the show continues from 2 to 7 with portrait demonstrations by Ted DeClerc. And is Ted here? He was here earlier. Yes. Ted, are you here? Yes. There is Ted's going to be giving demonstrations on Sunday on portraits, portraits. So it's going to be awesome. We have a lot of event, lots of things planned for the weekend. The show continues on Sunday from two to seven. As I mentioned, the drawing will be held at the end of the show on Sunday evening. And I think that's probably all I have to say. But I want to welcome you and thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you so much. to Susan's. It's a, a joy to see so many people here and also to thank Susan and Kerti who are phenomenal in their help. Let me just briefly tell you about the jurors who selected the 188 pieces of art that you're seeing in this big room plus the uh, 3D people who are in the other room. They are Terry Swenson and Chris Curtis who are the owners of West Branch Gallery in Stowe, Vermont. Um, they have a gorgeous website if you're curious about the work that they choose for their own gallery. I spoke to them today. They were here last year, but they were unable to come this year, but they send their regards and commented that they were glad to be able to see how much art is going on in this area. And then they chose two of the artists here uh, for a special recognition. So I have the pleasure of announcing the two people who received the Jurors Recognition Award. And the first one, I'll read it. The first one is presented for her, for her compelling, expressive, yet minimal brushwork. It goes to Mimi Webb. Oh. 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 Congratulations. <laughs> 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 For artwork in the second know. annual Literacy Council Gulf Coast show, mm -hmm. Deck the Walls, our show, it, it, for his energetic use of color, composition, and vibrant subject matter, goes to Oswaldo Ventura. Yes. So, congratulations to Thank you. <laughs> I've had the pleasure of hearing and overhearing many positive comments about all of the work, and thank you all for your participation. Enjoy. <laughs>